Continuing on from my video scribe presentation, I'd also like to talk about some other um, conventions that I challenged and even conformed to. Um, I'm making this video uh, part two of my evaluation after receiving audience feedback, where I received uh, feedback from, from people in the different conventions I challenged and whether they liked that or not. Um, one of the main things that I challenged the conventions was having everything in black and white rather than a pool to emphasize the balloonist and um, this is balloonus and also the fact that she finds solace and it's almost as if it's a cure to her mental illness when she's in the pool um, by homeopathic means rather than medication. Um, I was primarily really inspired by Sin City when I did this effect. Um, it was very effective having the lips read in Sin City. Um, another film I was really inspired by was Schindler's List and the way they emphasize the innocence of the young by having a little girl, everything black and white, and a little girl having her coat in red. Um, these two examples, having watched these films, inspired me because I knew the effect that it had had on me, and I wanted to replicate this into my short film to try and emphasize the importance of the pool and to central to the story, but also central to Car uh, Scarlet as a character. Another convention that I challenged and a bold decision I made was to have no dialogue between Scarlett and her mother. This was primarily because I wanted the overriding theme to be um, schizophrenia by highlighting the pool and showing the cure to schizophrenia and also by showing how the voices in, that she hears through schizophrenia are so... Um, uh, uh, massive to her and anything in reality as so we think um, to her is just blurred out because of schizophrenia is such a big issue. Um, so I decided to have no dialogue and just have the piano, the music and um, the sound of the wind and birds instead. Um, I was actually primarily inspired by this by the animated film Chiplets of Belleville. Now, although there is some dialogue in this film and it doesn't share similarities in my film in the sense that it's animated and um, although it is in the drama genre, I was inspired by it because it was a film which was able to tell its story really effectively by not telling the audience everything there was to understand. It was more for the audience to engage in the film and be alert in the film to try and understand what was happening and almost have their own, own interpretation of it. Um, after watching this film, um, I had always wanted to create a short film with no dialogue um, to have it more open and interp to interpretation to the audience, like Triplets of Belleville was to me, um, which will help engage the audience even more. Another convention that I challenged in my film was by having a strong female lead, and not only that, by not but not also including any male characters within my film. Um, the father is absent, we're not sure what happened to him, not explain that in the, um, in the short film. And Scarlett has doesn't have any male friends that are included. Um, this was a decision that I decided to make, um, because I wanted to have a bold, uh, character Scarlett. Um, because rarely do you have films where the whole film surrounds one strong female character. Usually if you have a strong female protagonist, she is side by side another male protagonist or at least a, a strong male character. Um, I, I took this decision and took major inspiration from the film Wild, which was directed by Laura, De, um, which was directed by Jean Mark Valley. Um, I decided to do this because um, the main character in Wild is a strong woman who embarks on, a, uh, on her own adventure to try and help her um, recover some of the trauma that she's lived through. Similar to my character Scarlett, um, who's on her own uh, almost a, a mission of self-discovery to try and become a who she is and to try and stand up to her mother, wanting to just um, find homeopathic means of curing her or treating her schizophrenia rather than self-medicating or taking medication. Um, this film was particularly inspiring and was used for much reference throughout my brainstorming. Um, in creating the and constructing the character of Scarlet. Another thing I wanted to do was research into films um, that represented mental illness, uh, specifically schizophrenia, and see how 
um, my film related to theirs and things I liked from these films and wanted to stick to the conventions of and things I disliked from these films. So the two films I analysed was The Soloist and um, Shadow Island with Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, firstly, with Shadow Island, I personally did not like the representation of mental illness in this film. Um, and therefore, I did not stick to the conventions um, that this film displayed. I didn't like how the central character was, uh, who was insane and had schizophrenia, was depicted and how there was really no positive representation of mental illness and rather showed everyone who was suffering with mental illness as um, essentially barbarians and people not capable of intelligent thought. Um, therefore, I tried my hardest to stick away from this representation because I didn't think it was a positive representation. Um, therefore, I created my character Scarlet as a strong character who stands up to her mum and is independent um, regardless. Um, the second film that I looked at was The Soloist. Um, this film I did take inspiration from. It, um, it was about a student who was a uh, graduate at the Juilliard School and who, um, because of its, uh, his schizophrenia, um, had to leave the school and became uh, just absorbed in himself. Um, I liked this film, however, in the representation of mental illness because he, was, he had hope and he had a positive outlook on his disease. And it, the film accurately depict the, the ethical issues regarding treatment and attitudes toward mental illness. And this was exactly what my film was trying to do. It was trying to challenge um, conventions of how we should treat mental illness in today's world and whether that should be through medication or through natural means through as, um, through as like nature and being in tune with that. So it was very interesting for me to look at films tackling mental illness and to see how I, and what things I wanted to um, share conventions with and what things I didn't want to share conventions with um, for my short film.